and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are making fish pakoras. Uh, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, click on that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, so let's get started then. Over here I've got some um, fish pieces. I've got, I've used the uh, cod and um, these were like frozen as the brown ones and I just let it defrost overnight in the, fri in the fridge. So now I'm just going to cut this into smaller pieces because they're a bit too big. And um, you can you can have them as big or as small as you want. It's entirely up to you. You can set these bits as well. <laughs> oh, and you can use any fish that you like as well. But cod is a, it's quite a nice firm fish to use. But I have made it with the uh, bassa fillets before. They tend to be a lot um, thinner. These are a bit more chunkier. So use any fish that you like. You can cut that. I'm just going to carry on cutting this and I'll show you what to do next in just a bit. Okay, so the fish are all uh, chopped up into smaller pieces. What I'm going to do now is add uh, spices and that. So I'll, I like to use some lemon juice. So about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Because so, fish and lemon really goes well together. And then in here I've got um, cumin play, um, yeah, cumin seeds, coriander powder, salt, um, chili powder, and turmeric. I'll link all the amount in the description for you guys. So I've already measured this out. And then um, this is uh, gram flour. You don't want to use uh, too much, so I don't know how much you're going to need. Uh, you just have to. To check for yourself you know once you mix that in sometimes you need a couple of tablespoons sometimes you need more or less and also you need yeah, about half a teaspoon of baking powder okay i'm just gonna give this a mix the key here is just to make sure you mix really well so that the the, the gram flour is not lumpy anymore and you've noticed that I've not added any water yet because I've got lemon juice in here I might not need to use any any water because you don't want um, a thin batter you want to make sure it's um, it's quite thick so it's easier to fry okay so I'm just gonna add a little bit more gram flour This is a really simple recipe. You can, if you don't like fish, you can replace it with um, chicken if you want, or just make it with like potatoes and onions, anything like that. Okay, so this is all done now. I think I need to add a bit more actually. I'm just gonna add some more. You probably end up being about two tablespoons. And again, no water. You know, because if you add too much water, then it becomes quite hard to fry. You can taste it, the batter, if you want to. Just make sure that all the spices are fine. So yeah, this is looking okay now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the frying pan with the oil heating up. And I can rest for a little while while that's happening and I'll show you how to fry them. Okay, so the oil is quite hot now. So we're just going to drop the fish in and then we can heat. The fish doesn't take long, very long to cook, so maybe about four minutes or so uh, should be enough. 
get it to slow. Okay, so the fish looks like it's cooked now. You can see the batter has gone nice and golden. And like I said before, the fish doesn't take very long to cook. It's quite easy. If you're, if you're making them um, chicken pakora, then you obviously you need to cook a little bit longer. I'm just going to remove them and pop them on the plate here. Get a tissue so it can burn out any oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off frying these and we'll do a taste test afterwards. So the fish pakora are now ready and you can enjoy these with like a chili sauce or a yogurt and mint um, dipping sauce if you want. I've got my taste tester here today, Malia is back. Uh, so Malia, would you like to try one? Okay, this one should be okay, the other ones are really hot. So there you go, you can uh, let the viewers know what it tastes like. I'm going to dip it in the mint and yogurt. So. Okay. What's it taste like? Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.